Hi, we're at the Harvard Dance Center in downtown Vancouver, and just inside here rehearsing is the Kokoro Dance Troupe. They're getting ready for their 15th annual Rec Beach Buto. Now, we're going to go in and check things out with them. They're fully clothed. Now, the reason I'm pointing this out, because the Buto is actually performed in full white body paint, that's it, and on Rec Beach. 10, we've hauled her out of the rehearsal, thank you. Now, Christine, you've been um, doing this for well over 10 years, you said, doing the buto. Now tell me, what is it that keeps bringing you back to this sort of unique performance? And also, it sounds like kind of a tough thing to do. You're naked, you're in the sand. It's, it's transformative and a lot of hard work, a lot of fun. You get to meet a lot of new people, learn something about yourself every year. Now you you obviously can't rehearse every single time out on the beach yeah. in in the body paint and in all that expanse. Tell me what is the difference from going from here so to there? Um, well, it's completely different. Um, <laughs> as I was saying earlier, it's because um, there's always a mix of professional and pre-professional mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. non-professional dancers. And once we get out onto the beach, it sort of evens it out because. Mm -hmm what you can do in the studio and what you can do mm -hmm. on the sand with the sky and everything is just completely, it changes everything so they push us really hard in rehearsals. But I guess you can't prepare for no. the expanse of nature around you, no. can you? No, yeah, mm -hmm. and there's always, there's always something. One year there was a bunch of sh jellyfish had washed up onto the beach oh. and one of the guys rolled over a jellyfish and he kept dancing and he was like, oh. <laughs> Yeah, a lot that, of things, so. that doesn't seem to be very problematic inside a theater, does it? Jellyfish? No, no, you don't have to worry about jellyfish in the theater. Yeah. <laughs> 